Just a few weeks ago, global headlines broke about the F5 breach, a vulnerability in their network devices that left thousands of organizations exposed. It wasn't a small incident. It affected banks, telecoms, and enterprises that relied on F5 security products to keep their systems safe. And when the news hit, something interesting happened. The hackers had already done their part. Now, the spotlight shifted to a different group of people. Inside these companies, executives called emergency meetings, and sitting in those rooms weren't penetration testers or SOC analysts. They were GRC professionals, the people who decide how the company responds, what gets disclosed, and how to prevent the next crisis. They're not writing code. They're not chasing malware. They're making decisions that could save the company millions or cost it everything. These are the unseen heroes of cybersecurity. The professionals who don't defend systems, they defend trust. They work in a field called GRC, Governance, Risk, and Compliance, the hidden backbone of cybersecurity that keeps the business side standing when everything else is falling apart. You probably don't see them in hacker movies or news interviews, but make no mistake, they're the ones every CEO listens to. They're the reason companies stay online, stay compliant, and stay out of court. And here's the part nobody talks about. GRC is quietly becoming one of the most in-demand, high-paying and stable career paths in cybersecurity. It's the route that takes you from doing the work to deciding what work matters. Whether you're coming from IT support, finance, project management, HR, or even a completely different domain, GRC is the one cybersecurity specialization where your existing experience isn't wasted. It's valuable. Because GRC isn't about hacking or coding. It's about understanding people, processes, and policies. The things that keep companies alive after a breach. And today, I'll show you exactly how to learn GRC faster than anyone else, even if you're a beginner, switching careers, or have zero technical background. So you can start building your cybersecurity future in 2025 and beyond. Every cybersecurity disaster, from data leaks to million-dollar fines, comes down to one thing bad governance. Think of GRC as air traffic control for cybersecurity. Hackers cause turbulence, but GRC controls the flight plan. Companies like Uber and Equifax didn't collapse because of hackers alone. They collapsed because their policies were outdated, their risk registers empty, and their compliance teams ignored early warnings. GRC is where cybersecurity stops being about machines and starts being about decisions. If you thought cybersecurity was just about firewalls and exploits, GRC is the side that commands the battlefield. Now, here's the crazy part. As we move through 2025 and beyond, cybersecurity jobs are exploding. But the biggest shortage isn't ethical hackers, SOC analysts, or security engineers. It's GRC professionals. Because companies can buy firewalls, they can outsource pen testing, but they can't buy judgment. You don't need to code. You don't need a degree. You just need to understand how businesses think, how risk travels, and how to turn chaos into structure. GRC analysts are the translators between the hackers in the basement and the boardroom upstairs. They work regular hours, earn well, and build influence fast, all without midnight shifts or weekend incidents. It's calm, strategic, and quietly powerful. But here's the truth. GRC looks simple until you try to learn it. Before we go deeper, if you're serious about building a real cybersecurity career in GRC, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Because here, we don't do buzzwords. We break down what professionals actually do every day and how you can get there faster. If you've ever tried to Google how to learn GRC, you already know the pain. You end up buried under ISO PDFs, compliance jargon, and frameworks that assume you've already been in the cockpit for five years. It's like being handed the flight manual for a Boeing 737 when you've never even seen an airplane up close. The manual tells you everything about the switches, but nothing about how it feels when you're 30,000 feet in the air, balancing turbulence, fuel, and passenger safety. That's exactly what most GRC training feels like. You're flooded with checklists and policies, but no one shows you how they connect in real life. You don't learn how to fly the system, just how to read about it. It's a paradox. You need experience to get a GRC job, but you need a GRC job to gain experience. That's why most beginners give up. They think GRC is too corporate, too boring, too abstract. But it's not boring. It's strategic aviation. 
You're learning to navigate through regulatory storms, business turbulence, and risk crosswinds. And your frameworks are your flight instruments. Here is the step one. Understand what GRC really means. Before you learn frameworks or tools, you have to understand what GRC actually is. Governance is decision-making. It's who defines the rules, who approves exceptions, and who's accountable when things break. Risk management is anticipation, spotting cracks before they become breaches, and compliance is proof. It's how you show regulators, partners, and customers that you're walking the talk. Think of it like a Formula One team. Governance decides the race strategy. Risk management checks the weather, tire wear, and track conditions. Compliance ensures the car meets every regulation so you don't get disqualified after the win. As a GRC analyst, you are the strategist, the analyst, and the referee all in one. And the step two is all about learning the language of risk. Every field has its language. For cybersecurity, that language is risk. Learn these words like your life depends on them. Threat, vulnerability, likelihood, impact, control, residual risk. Don't just memorize, connect them. A weak password is not a risk, it's a vulnerability. The risk is unauthorized access. And the control, multi-factor authentication. Once you can connect those dots, you've cracked the GRC mindset. Use courses like the Google Cybersecurity Certificate or ISC Square Certified in Cybersecurity, CC, to solidify this foundation. And if you haven't already, watch the video above, where I showed exactly how you can get those certifications free of cost. You'll know you're fluent when you can look at a real situation and say, if customer data isn't encrypted in transit, we're exposed to a regulatory breach under GDPR Article 32. That's when you stop sounding like a student and start sounding like a GRC professional. Step three is where you master frameworks with context. This is where most learners fall apart. They open ISO 27001 or NIST 853, see hundreds of controls, and think, this isn't for me. Relax. Frameworks are not meant to be memorized. They're meant to be mapped. Here's how professionals approach them. ISO 27001 tells you what to control. NIST CSF tells you how mature you are in controlling it. SOC 2 or PCI DSS tell you what auditors will test. Start with ISO 27001. Read Annex A. Pick five. Policies, organization, human resources, access control, and operations security. For each one, ask yourself, if this control failed, what could go wrong? Now you're not memorizing, you're reasoning. Next, map each ISO control to a NIST CSF function. Identify, protect, detect, respond, recover. That's how you build multi-frame your literacy. The kind real consultants use daily. Now the most important step four. Forget waiting for a company. You can start practicing GRC right now. Create a mock organization. Call it No Tech Solutions. It's a 200-person fintech startup handling customer data, credit card information, and employee records. Now, imagine you've just been hired as their new GRC analyst. The CISO calls you into a meeting and says, we've never documented our risks. We have no policies. Can you fix that? That's your starting point. Grab a blank sheet of paper or open a simple spreadsheet. That's your risk register. List the company's five most important assets. Customer database, email system, web application, HR portal, cloud servers. Now, for each one, identify. What could go wrong? That's your threat. How likely is it to happen? That's likelihood. How bad would it be if it did? That's impact. And what are we doing about it? That's your control. Here is the example. Customer database, threat, SQL injection. Likelihood, medium, impact, high, control, input validation and strong access restrictions. Congratulations, you've just created your first risk entry, something every real GRC analyst manages every single day. Next, write three one-page policies, a password policy, a remote work policy, and an access control policy. Keep them simple, clear, and written like you're talking to employees, not lawyers. Your password policy might say, all passwords must be at least 12 characters long, use multi-factor authentication, and must not be reused across systems. Your remote work policy could start with, Employees must connect only through company-approved VPNs and never store customer data locally. And your access control policy might read, access to production data must be approved by the system owner and reviewed quarterly. 
That's it. You've just simulated a core part of every GRC program, identifying risk and setting rules to reduce it. You don't need fancy software or expensive subscriptions to learn GRC. You just need to understand how to turn uncertainty into structure. That's what GRC really is, the art of bringing order to risk. In step five, simulate a real audit. Now you've built the system, it's time to test it. Pretend you're the auditor walking into NOTAC. Ask, can you prove these controls exist? Create an audit checklist. Control ID, evidence type, status. For example, A923, privileged access reviews, evidence, access log report, status, pending. A1261, vulnerability scans, evidence, last scan report, status, complete. If a control is missing evidence, mark it as a finding and write a remediation plan. That's it. You just performed an internal audit. Now summarize it in a one-page audit report with three findings, risk ratings, corrective actions. That's 80% of what entry-level GRC analysts do in real life. In step six, you quantify risk like a pro. Here's what separates junior analysts from future managers. They don't just list risks, they measure them. Create a simple five by five matrix. Score likelihood from one to five. Score impact from one to five. Multiply for total risk. For example, likelihood three times impact four equals 12. High. Then add impact categories, financial, operational, regulatory, and reputational. Now, when you say this is high risk, you can show why and how it ties to business outcomes. That's what makes executives listen to you. Seventh step is interesting, and this is where GRC meets AI and automation. Now, let's talk about the future. As we move deeper into 2025 and beyond, GRC is being reshaped by AI. But it's not replacing professionals, it's amplifying them. AI tools like Hyperproof and AuditBoard now map controls automatically, identify overlaps, and even predict audit readiness. Try this. Ask ChatGPT, review this access control policy, and compare it to ISO 27001-A9. What's missing? Or generate a risk register for a fintech startup processing credit card data. It'll give you a draft. Then you refine it with business context. That's how modern GRC professionals work. AI for speed, human judgment for precision. The fastest GRC learners of 2025 won't be the ones who read more documents. They'll be the ones who learn faster using these new tools. And now we enter the final step in our GRC roadmap, where you turn learning into a career. Knowledge means nothing if you can't show it. Create a folder called My GRC Portfolio. Inside it, keep your risk register, three policies, audit report, one-page GRC summary for your mock company. This becomes your proof of skill. Add it to your resume and LinkedIn under projects. Use keywords recruiters search for risk assessment, ISO 27001, NIST CSF, audit testing, vendor risk, GRC tools. Now, you're not trying to break in. You're showing evidence you already can do the work. That's how you go from learner to candidate. Before we wrap up, I want you to do something that'll completely change how you look at cybersecurity. Because GRC isn't just a subject, it's a lens. It's how professionals see the world. Every process, every app, every login becomes a question of risk, responsibility, and control. And the fastest way to start thinking like that is to test your new mindset in the real world. So here's your challenge. Tonight, pick one company you admire. It could be your bank, your favorite tech brand. Scroll to the bottom of their site and open their privacy policy. Read it slowly. Then ask yourself three questions. Where's the risk? Who's accountable? What could go wrong? Maybe they mention encryption, third parties, or data retention policies. Ask yourself, how would I verify that? That moment of questioning, that's you thinking like a GRC analyst. That's your first real-world GRC analysis. No labs, no expensive tools. Just curiosity, awareness, and structured thinking, the same mindset professionals use every day. And once you start seeing the world this way, you'll realize cybersecurity isn't just about defense. It's about decisions. Decisions that protect data, people, and trust. Now I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below and tell me which company's privacy policy you chose and one risk you spotted. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's about learning to see what most people miss. Who knows? Your insight might even help someone else start their GRC journey today. Cybersecurity is evolving fast. Hackers will get louder. Tools will get smarter. 
but the professionals who combine technical awareness with business judgment. Those who understand why controls exist, they'll lead the next generation of cybersecurity. Learn their playbook. Master their language. And you won't just join cybersecurity, you'll help shape it. If this opened your eyes to the world of GRC, don't stop here. Hit subscribe and join the Cyber Explainer community, where we break down real-world strategies, case studies, and roadmaps to help you build your cybersecurity career the right way. And if you want to connect, learn, and grow with hundreds of cybersecurity learners and professionals, join our Discord community. You'll find hands-on challenges, discussions, and mentorship from people walking the same path as you. The link's in the description.